Hi friends, let's read the book today, The Three Little Mittens, written by Linda Bailey, illustrated by Natalia Shalashvili. Once there were two little mittens, Dottie and other Dottie. They were fluffy and woolly and cozy and warm, and they looked exactly the same. But there was also a third mitten, Stripes. You don't match, said Dottie. That's all right, said other Dottie. The little girl only has two hands. She'll never wear you. What's the use of a single mitten? I know I'm just one, said Stripes in a trembly voice, but there must be some reason why I'm here. Well, I don't see it, said Dottie. Me neither, said other Dottie. The truth was, Stripes couldn't see her purpose either. Every day she was trapped all alone in the little girl's pocket. She never got out. She never made a snowball. She never patted a dog. And then one day the little girl had to take off other Dottie so she could eat a blueberry muffin. As the little girl walked away, she didn't notice that other Dottie was left behind. Now there was only Dottie and Stripes. The little girl decided to wear them together. Seriously, said Dottie, this is just weird. Suddenly, Dottie and Stripes were partners because they had to be. And here's the surprise. As they got to know each other, they began to like each other. In fact, they almost became friends. But just as that was happening, guess who turned up? Other Stripes. I don't believe it, said Stripes. It's you, my old matchy match partner. Where have you been all this time? Other Stripes told a scary story. She had been dragged under the couch by the dog and left there for a whole month. The two Stripes were thrilled to be together again. Then suddenly they both turned to face Dottie. Sorry, said Stripes, the little girl only has two hands and we match. Oh, said Dottie in a shaky voice. I guess I'll just lie down in the pocket. Alone. That's right, said other Stripes. You don't match. And that's when Mittens heard a big voice. Excuse me, said the voice. I have a question. The Mittens gasped in shock. They looked way up. It was the little girl. Why do you have to match? She asked. The Mittens stared at her. Then they stared at each other. Then they thought for a very long time. I don't know, whispered Dottie at last. But here's what I do know. Someone always gets left out. Exactly, said the little girl. There's always a mitten who doesn't match. She went to the closet and brought back a cardboard box. Out came a great tumble of mittens. Furry cuffs fell out, and so did other snowflake. Starry night was right behind. And then came out other pom-pom and big dino. They had all lost their partners ages ago and had been stuck in the lost mittens box ever since. There were even a few odd gloves. We're free, yelled Cherry Pink and Bunny. Oh my gosh, said Rainbow. I thought we'd never get out of there. It, is it snowing? Asked Other Monkey. I want to see the snow. After that, the little girl made a big change. Every day, she wore two mittens that did not match. She was extremely fair about choosing so that over time, all the mittens would get a turn. At first, the mittens found it weird, but gradually they got used to it. They got to know and like each other. They made new friends. Each mitten, they discovered, 
was thoroughly remarkable in its own way. An original. Each day brought a new surprise for the mittens. Whose turn was it today? Who would be partners? Now that they didn't have to match anymore, they could concentrate on other things. They made snow people, they built forts, they shoveled the sidewalk. They hung on with all their might as the little girls sled down the hill. The mittens had never had so much fun before. And that's not all. The kids at the little girl's school noticed too. The little girl quickly became famous for her unusual mitten choices. In fact, she started a trend. Soon, there were lots of kids wearing mixed up mittens. Every day, new and different combinations showed up. At last, each mitten was being appreciated for its true worth. It didn't have to match anymore. It just had to be itself. As you might guess, it wasn't long before the socks heard the story. Lying there in the sock drawer, rolled up into matchy-match pairs. It was all they could talk about. Freedom! They yelled as they leaped one by one from the drawer. Freedom! Last one out's a rotten egg, yelled Big Gray Wooly. Can't catch me, hollered White One with a hole in the toe. And of course, once the socks found out about something, the shoes were not far behind. And after that, well, as you can see, life was never going to be the same again. And that's the end, friends. Until next time, take care. It will be mitten season before you know it.